just like to um, talk about what and how the human mind works and how the human um, condition shapes the individual and the society as a whole, given their environment, given their transactions with their surrounding, they become very um, connected to the way they live. The moment you change and alter the environment, it alters their behavior and alters and react in very different ways and all try to adapt to the kind of environment they wish to. And having said that, for so many years, before the religions came on planet, I'm sure I'll be unpopular on this matter for big time. We took on, we worship, or the humans on the planet worship trees. Is it? The sky, the sun, the moon, the earth, the water, the air, the fire. These are pretty much worship worthy in my understanding because they so much support the very transactions that life is woven with. The moment people think that they are absolute, they think they are absolute because they haven't paid enough attention to their breath, they haven't paid enough attention to the amount of water that they carry in. This is a water body. They haven't paid enough attention to the earth. This is a piece of earth. I borrowed off. What I eat, I accumulate. It's all here. So, so to speak, in the old days, we, our ancestors or the First Nation beings on the land respected and worshipped the land that supported their life and sustain and provided food. Just imagine a fertile earth which is dirt which today the society doesn't want to even talk about dirt but that's what it is. Soil turned into food that we consume through our digestive process it comes out as soil, waste. Back to earth becomes manure, soil. Anyway, human ideas are such that we think or we given enough or we given too much importance to an insignificant mind of thought and forgotten so much about how and how we maintain our lives, how we are so woven like a fabric, interwoven like a fabric, chemically process life. woven with bacteria, viruses, and germs, and all you want to call it in your specialized fields. Yet, our thought has got in us to where we are today. As you can see behind me, a blank wall, an uneducated, an uneducated who is willing to learn more and realize what I know is absolutely minuscule to when I look out or even pay attention to a single ant. 
and his sophistication of its life, yet our insignificant importance given to who we are on this earth has caused much destruction, much harm, and much devastation. Yet, we still don't realize, we're still not willing to accept that we are here as only a, a small speck in comparison to the infinite or infinite existence that support every life here. If we are cerebrally able, cerebrally capable, neurologically evolved creature, we must take this very responsible stance or responsible position to become reasonable, acceptable, accountable, More importantly, just become a piece of life that's throbbing and that is here for a short span of time and we learn to, without a friction, without conclusion, learn to ride the existence, learn to live a harmonious and wherever possible, wherever we can, to become an extension to other life and enhance and make it a pleasant for yourself, equally pleasant for everyone else.